Welcome to Section 7.2, Competency-Based Education, Certification Programs. In this section, we're going to talk about developing a theme that is ideal for certification programs that require you to work through a clearly designated set of instructional materials and then to complete assessments. I don't want to give you the wrong impression and let you think that we're going to go through detailed programming when we learn how to work with themes and customize them. Instead, this section will let you know what you need to do if you want to actually program themes. We want to avoid themes that do not easily link to instructional material with knowledge assessing quizzes. So let's pretend for a moment that we are not simply going to extend a base theme, but we're going to create our own layouts. How much more work is it going to entail? To get an idea, let's go to Moodle Docs and review creating a theme. So let's go here and let's just take a look. Let's think about what we need to change in the layout and how to incorporate assessments. We'll look at the files we need to change when we develop our new theme. So just scroll through and, and here are nice instructions. So here's a list of files that we will need to change and what we'll need to do as we change them. As you name your components, you should follow the protocol called Frankenstyle, which is definitely important to understand. And thankfully, there's a site that goes into detail about describing Frankenstyle. Let's go back. Notice that you'll have to be able to put your modifier cascading style sheets and where you'll put your layout files, etc. Anyway, let's just go back to standard themes and take a look at themes that exist. And we want to look at the flowable ones and that one probably which is the most popular at this point would be clean. So let's take a look at the clean theme. It's um, kind of a developer's dream. We're going to use it as our foundation. We're not going to go as far as to create a new layout but we'll just simply modify it at this point because our goal is to optimize user experience in terms of assessment. Let's just go to the clean theme website and take a look. This page describes how to install the clean theme. So if you, again, are very courageous, you may even want to create your own theme settings page. But again, this page is really built for developers and a bit outside the scope of this course, but I wanted you to at least know that these options exist out there. What we will do is to modify the theme and We'll save it in a place where we can access it later. So you can work with your Moodle administrator to create a place where you can save your modified version. Or from your Moodle theme directory, you can simply right click on the new theme and copy and paste it back into your Moodle theme directory. For detailed instructions for the clean theme, again, you can go back to the clean theme information page. And also as you go in, and modify it. As usual, we'll just go into Site Administration and Appearance, Themes, but instead of Theme Selector, we will go into Theme Settings. And since we're in Clean, this will pop up when we click on it. And here as we change the settings for Clean. In this unit, we've talked about matching theme and selecting a theme, modifying it for assessment. In the next, we'll talk about using the clean theme to create an environment that's good for mobile devices as well as desktop environments.